explore the country. Choose your place. Design your own castle and build it. But you are not alone. Others may attack you. Sir, we are under attack. What? Lord Harriet the Insane is marching Shit. toward us. Defend your castle. Command your army. Fight with a sword in your hand. And fight like a true king. Hello and welcome to World of Castles Gameplay Preview. My name is Jakub Hamernik and I am the creator of the game. Uh, we are now currently in the game menu and um, you can see it is fully interactive. There are many stuff like you can improve your castle, you can look at your time, you can change your flag even. Let's show something about changing your flag. Now, you can do fully randomize your flag if you do have no clue about what you want to do. Or you can just simply change some parts like color so, or symbol. You can select from various number of symbols or colors and customize it as you want. You can even change the background on the left. We can use, for example, this quarter flag background. And once we click done, you can see all flags changed. We just entered the map called Hills, which is quite basic because it contains various types of uh, terrain, like hills, lakes and forests. Now we are above the lake, you can see the fish on the left lake brings some uh, protection because there is harder to get over the water, deep water for food, foodman soldiers. On the other hand, the forest makes some cover for attacking units from arrows and harder to aim them because they are hidden partially. But it can burn, so it can be also used as defensive. On the other hand, uphills are harder to get anyway. Here is a fisherman. We would like to add more people like fisherman is to make the world more, more populated and living. It was enough about nature, so let's build something. You can build a selected block by left clicking on the ground. The blocks have to make sense, like you can see you cannot place it here and you can place many blocks at once by pressing shift, like this. The game has pre-calculated settings, it will not break anything itself, it uh, just not allow you to build it. And you can destroy blocks by right clicking on the block, and if you hold it, you destroy it fastly. So, let's build something more complex. You will choose the house. We select the place, you can see that support is made automatically under the floor or other blocks. And you can see that the grass is cut down under the block so it will not penetrate the floor through, it will not grow through the floor. You can see that sometimes you need to change the level of the terrain, you can also. This probably will be do, done automatically later. Now you can select the block between categories. We select the housing and simply selecting the blocks you want. 
and or the rotation with the mouse wheel. Let's build something small, like a small house with one floor. Nothing bigger right now. So let's build the roofs under other category. Roofs are semi procedural, they will automatically add beams and overlaps where needed. Roofs are quite important for us because it defines the room where we can place things and it will cover also from weather effects and also make some cover for arrows and other negative things that we do not want to have in the room. Let's show something why we need to have a roof because normally you can say it's it's just a waste of blocks you cannot because you cannot uh, put um, equipment under it you can see it requires a roof underground so once we finish the house you, we can fill it with uh, equipment which is why we are making houses because equipment has different uses for example this is throne Throne is a place where your character starts in the battle. And also you can place other things like uh, lights. Um, each part of equipment has some kind of uh, sense. For example, it will just improve your um, morale, morale value, which affects the battle, battle stats of your army. They will not give up so easily because you have so nice castle. They want to uh, to want uh, defend or to stand for, or you can build. Um, for example, some kind of armory type of uh, blocks which will add you armor value you, and you can then use much heavier soldiers on your side. Let's build a cabinet, for example, but you can see there is a problem because it is quite big and it penetrates through the roof so it will not allow you to build it. So we change to different part of equipment. You can also destroy equipment by right click and place it on other place. You can see there, there is a very large number of blocks and equipment you can use in the game, but some are quite bigger and for example this is a skin of bear and there is no space to place it but we can place table yeah table and um, beds have a special value it increases the number of army you can have so much more living rooms for your garrison increase the maximum number of garrison you can have. Each block has uh, some cost so you have to decide what you want to build, how you want to use your points for blocks. Okay, so we finish this by adding the staircase and I believe we have pretty done our first house. So let's show something about statics as I told the first time when we built something. We cannot build blocks directly which is heavy like this stone on the right on the side of the block but we can add some support 
for example this one yeah this one and now you can see that it works because the weight is uh, delivered into two clumps and it is pretty stable right now so also we can build bigger blocks like for palisade blocks you can also build a ramp for it to get easily onto the palisade here and you can use various types like this one which will allow you to step up on the hill but not currently we will use classic one and add a gate to get into your palisade here Okay, I think it is enough about building right now. Let's look around what we built. You can see the birds in the distance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see the smoke coming from the chimney, so let's look. You can see the sparks. Okay, this is our work for this time. Let's show something about the city we made. You can see the garrison here, soldiers, the houses, apart from guards there are also normal citizens who chat with each other, walk around and do their jobs. If they are under attack, they try to hide in your castle. But this is a building mode, so nobody will attack you if you do not want. Let's look from this uh, tower. <laughs> I have selected uh, the bush uh, building because uh, it doesn't allow you to build on the blocks so it will not do any preview either so you can see you can build even the nature like bushes and trees okay this is over overall view and let's destroy it we placed a defensive a trebuchet to demonstrate how it works you can see it takes quite long to destroy a massive wall because we do not want to crash the wall castle in one hit so it must take some time we will uh, force players to attack more weak points like uh, weaker walls or the gates with uh, ramps or use ladders but also you can use this destructive way and make your hole into the castle. Also you can use more, much more catapults at once. So we can see that uh, we slowly destroying the wall. There, the hole in, in the wall is still bigger and bigger. The shooting speed 
and loading speed of the catapults are dependent on the number of engineers they are operating it. Currently we have maximum speed. We can see the destruction is slow and is dependent on the type of the blocks. It is way better to shoot at one place, but now we are lowering the integrity of wall wall. So once we hit um, some breakpoint, it will do some damage to other blocks also. And yes, here is it. We destroyed more blocks at once. Now it is still somehow connected with chunks, and but it will slide soon. Like now. I hope you liked the video. Uh, so you can subscribe the channel to get the news and stay tuned. Bye!